Today wasn't supposed to be about birds. It was supposed to be about field craft, technique, decoys and all that stuff. But Crow fancies having a pop at some duck which are diving into his pond on an evening. I'm hoping they're going to come to the right hand side of the tree to curl around to come in so that I can drop them out on the stubble. If they come to the left hand side I'm going to have to shoot them out so they drop before they get onto the mud. Because like I say I don't want, to want the dog getting in on the mud. Last autumn he really opened up the pond. This is the precise spot where he and George Digweed shot nearly 600 corvids last year. This always used to be quite a good flight pond, um, so we just opened it up, took a few trees down around the outside, made a bit of a hole for the ducks to come in. We've been feeding it a bit. Um, I fed it last year, I had a lot of ducks coming in, but um, there was a lot of acorns about last year, so they didn't really stay here, so we never shot any ducks on it at all last year. Um, so the night I thought I'd, there's a bit of a breeze, I thought, just finishing all my sowing. Uh, this is the first chance I've had to shoot, shoot my gun for about two and a half months, so uh, um, it's nice to get out of a tractor and have a couple of hours shoot. Supporting this series of Croho are Betin Solly shotguns, game ball cartridges, A1 decoys and Jack Pike. The Betin Solly is the newest toy and Crow's happy with the way it's shooting. I had a go on the pigeons with it, shot it really well, I was really impressed with it. Quite a nice action, it, it really does, it handles well as it goes. They put a, an extension on the stock for me, which was good of them. It fits me nicely. Sporting shooter editor Dom Holtham is also shooting this evening. He's been told where to shoot the ducks so they don't fall in the mud. Crow doesn't like muddy ducks or muddy dogs. He's also not that keen on steel shot. Even though we're only shooting a flight pond tonight, uh, still make sure you use steel cartridges, not lead. Seems silly to me because uh, when George was here we shot uh, over 600 head and they were all uh, lead. Um, to me, I can't see the difference we're using uh, why well, we should have to use steel, really, but I'm not into politics. Law's the law, Andy. I oh, know. As usual, Andy has been keeping a keen eye on the pond and has a good idea when they start coming. He's about half an hour off, but they do start coming in. We have our first bird of the evening and Ruby's first ever duck to contend with. She's not sure at all. Do you have a favourite duck for shooting? Pintail, my favourite. But the most fun to shoot are teal. I think teal are the best to shoot. Good eating as well, teal. Yeah, good eating. You used to do a lot of wild fowling when you were younger, didn't you? Like on the foreshore rather than fighting. Yeah, I used to have a hell of a lot of them. Yeah, I used to have a hell of a lot of them. Out in the marsh. He's got a burnt wick, Greenborough. Um, used to be in the KWA. Uh, the ducks just aren't there now, like they used to be. They get fed so much inland. Most of the early birds are mallards, but there are a few mandarin ducks too. Mandarin ducks are not on the quarry list, but strangely they are an invasive species. I've seen 40 or 50 mandarin in here and I know people that have more mandarin coming to their ponds than anything, so they are pretty dark, but do they eat well? I don't know. Don't be cheeky, Dominic. More birds fall, some a bit close for comfort. As the light starts to fade, Dom heads off to see if he can bag a buck in another part of the farm, leaving Andy to it. Mandarins chink and dive past us, finding the pond while the mallard get Andy's full attention. He gets a couple of nice shots. It's been a very enjoyable couple of hours, and there's a few brace to take home. Been a busy old summer for me, sir. But no, it's all done, done dusted now, sir. Time to chill out for a little while. So after a busy summer, it sounds as if Crow is looking forward to getting his new smokestick smoking. <laughs>